So just some quick end, uh, uh, facts of the great gray. Again, it's the tallest fo forest owl with the largest wingspan. They're roughly about six feet when they spread wing to wing. Um, took the ranger district, we, we just got a new ranger. And, uh, he went out with, with me the other day. And interesting story that we go out around the corner up by Crawfish Lake and here this giant owl takes off flying through this meadow and the first thing he says is, holy crap, that's a big owl. <laughs> and, uh, I, I basically said the same thing and, and you know, as soon as I saw it, I knew what it was. So it was pretty special for us to see it together. Um, it, was, it was his first. But again, the first thing that comes to mind when you see one, if you've never seen one before, is that's a big owl. Um, and, and a lot of people think, well, they're, they're not as big as the great horned owl, right? Because it's the great horned owl. But frankly, they're, they're about a quarter size bigger than, than the great horned. They're local resident year-round here in the highlands, which is pretty special. So they, they, they don't migrate like the, the snowy owls do. They, snowies go from the, the tundra clear down into, um, into the states. Great grays will stay fairly local. They might change eleva elevationally a little bit, but for the most part, they're, they're year-round resident. This is a really important fact um, and, and kind of a unique fact about great grays is they're a secondary nester. What's a secondary nester mean is they don't build their nest. They will literally not even take a stick and fluff up the pillow, per se. They, uh, they, they rely completely on what is there in nature or what um, one of their, their forest um, uh, raptor uh, abandons the, the year before. Okay, so, so they really need help from either Mother Nature um, providing a platform or from abandoned stick nests. Uh, with the largest wingspan, they go after some really tiny pieces of food um, in, in the form of small, small prey. Great, a great horned owl, they'll, they'll take your cat, right? The, the great gray owl, they go after some of the smallest forest prey uh, out there. So again, that's kind of a unique thing. You'd think the, the largest owl out uh, in the forest would go after the, some big stuff, right? And uh, it's, not, it's not the case with the great grays. They, they really key in on those little, little um, species like mice and stuff like that. And, and we'll get into that later. But um, for such a large owl, they, they go after really, really small prey. So Washington is in the, the southern extent of its range. And they don't, it doesn't just stop in Washington, but... It's primarily a northern boreal owl um, in uh, British Columbia, all through Canada and into uh, the, the Yukon and Alaska. There's a lot of, lot of owls, but uh, Washington and some other western states are, are the, in the southern extent of its range. And again, why I'm here, um, the Okanagan Highlands area is thought to have the largest population in Washington. Um, it, you know, no one has ever really confirmed that, but through anecdotal evidence, there's not another place in Washington where if, if a, a renowned birder were to want to go find a great gray, they'd come here, okay? and they would come right here to the highlands. So um, we live in a really, really special place. So let's talk a little bit about where they, where they are in their range. Again, Washington's in, in the southern, um, southern extent of the range. Uh, which is right in here, and again, they, they just frequent the, the northern boreal um, zone, but they, but they do, they are coming down into uh, western and, and central Oregon, and, and then north, north uh, or excuse me, eastern Oregon, and northeastern California, northern and uh, northern Idaho, and then western Montana, down into Yellowstone, down into the uh, Wyoming and, and Yellowstone area. And I was in Yellowstone this, this summer, and just about every tourist shop you went into, a uh, little trinket shop you went into, here was a picture of, a big frame picture of a great gray owl. So obviously they're an they're a icon for a lot of people, um, and boy, once you see one, um, you, you'll never forget it. So again, we're, we're right here, um, southern extent.
And, and again, year-round, summer breeding, um, they, they don't migrate much.